Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ashika here. Um, today I'm going to be talking about this new release that MAC came out with. So um, let's uh, review this little uh, products that I've got today. Um, the collection's name is Mirage Noir, hopefully I am pronouncing it right. So it released online I believe in May. Said, well, it was May 14th actually and then in stores was May 17th that the collection released so I picked up a few of the stuff you know not a lot not the whole thing but just a majority I guess you know we could say that so um, without further ado let's get in our little review about these products uh, I haven't tried it yet I haven't even opened it yet so we'll do it together so the, I um, mean, you know what, let's just talk about the packaging. Let's just talk about outside first. Just the cardboard itself. I mean, this little box right here. So as I'm shifting, as you see, like, it's shifting colors. So, yep, there it is. So we'll talk about the bronzes first that I picked up. I know there was a four of it. It was a two was... I believe a regular bronzes and then two was extra dimension so from the regular bronzer I have picked Bayana hopefully I'm pronouncing it right Bayana or Bayana I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right but um, look at this right here uh, it's so gorgeous like if you see how it's turning into different shades I love it so this is how this first bronzer looks like it is in the deeper shade I'm gonna swatch it for you guys so you guys can see what it really looks like um, so here it is I don't know if you guys can see but I guess you guys cannot but let me just pick up a little bit more just to see if I get really swatch it onto my hand um, so here here it is right here this is the guy right here it is definitely on the deeper side um, the next thing that I picked up was an extra dimension bronzer um, I know Mac released this one a couple of years ago or so but of course the packaging here it is and the one that I picked up is called Delpic. Yep. So here is Delpic. I'm going to also swatch it, this one for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm just going to swatch it right here. Up uh, right there. It is also in the deeper side, but I think anybody could wear uh, this bronzer. I think it will look good on any skin tone. Uh, moving on to something that I found interesting. I have never tried this. So this is going to be my first time trying this. Um, I picked up the face and body foundation. I have never tried it before. So this is going to be my first time trying it. Um, so of course this, this right here, the little lid. The cap looks, of course, this is the special package right here. But this right here, I don't know. Um, I have never tried it, so this is going to be my first time trying this. Um, to me, it's more like a dropper. Like, I have tried it in the stores. I've swatched it. So, to me, it's more like a, it's more uh, like a dropper that you could mix in your foundation. And, um... It has little um, shimmers to it, so I can't wait to try this one on. Um, so the next things that I picked up, I believe there was four eyeshadow total, but I've only picked up two. Um, the ones that I picked up is Sunspect. It is a Velux Pearl eyeshadow. So here, this is how it looks like. So I'm going to swatch it for you guys so you guys can see the color. I'm going to swatch it right here. 
Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm gonna zoom you guys in just so you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but this is how it looks like. The next shade that I picked up is also a Velux pearl. It's called Sun and Tan. Sun Tan and Repeat. That's what it's called. I think this is a pretty interesting color shift that it has. It's a very gorgeous color. It's also a Velux pearl. Let's watch this one. I know that it shifts colors. And of course you get your special packaging here. Um, I'm going to swatch it right here. Um, I don't know if my camera can zoom in, but uh, this is how this looks like. You see how it's like green to reddish. So this is how this looks like. Now, moving on to... I picked up three, three um, lipsticks. Three lipsticks. So I picked up three lipsticks out of the five that they had. Um, so here we are. I'm going to start opening these guys up. We're unpackaging it together. So look at the bullet right here. I mean, it's so gorgeous. It's really nice. It also shifts colors. I love the packaging. I swear, it's really pretty. Um, so the first color that I have is Twig. Twig? Twig. Uh, hopefully I am pronouncing it right. It is a satin finish. So this is how twig looks like. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to swatch it. Oh god, I have no space, but I'm gonna try to swatch it right here. I know it is a permanent, you know what? I know it is a permanent line. This is one of their permanent light shades. So here is twig. And the next shade that I have is Noon Noir. Hopefully I am pronouncing it right. Noon Noir. Um, it is all, it's really in the deeper brown shade, like a dirty brown. So I'm not sure how to, you know, uh, get my words together for this one. But I know there is a similar lipstick to this. And I think I have it, but I'm not going to do the comparison, but I'm just letting you guys know that I know there is a lipstick. It is similar to it. And this one is a frost finish. So I'm going to swatch it right here so you guys can see. Um, so here is Noon Noir. I think this is a gorgeous shade. Um, so the next one that I have, the last one. Um, I found this one interesting. I think I liked how it looked. So, I have Beach Nut. This is called Beach Nut right here. I'm going to swatch it for you guys so you guys can see. I know my hands look all crazy right now, but I'm going to try to swatch it right here for you guys. So, here... It is beach nut. It is a matte finish. And then I have picked up, I think there was five lip gloss. Five lip, lip gloss, yeah. I only picked up one that I found interesting and um, I think it was kind of unique and it caught my eyes. So I've got soft shell. So of course, package right here, the special lid right here, here we go. Um, and the color that I it is, uh, let's watch this and see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to swatch it right here so you guys can see what I'm swatching. Um, so here it is. This is right here. This is soft shell lip glass. And then um, my last thing that I picked up was, I think this was something that was raved on instagram the most that i've seen the pictures um this is very interesting to me i um it is uh, mother o pearl i just love how they did this right here i mean it's all different shades you get your blush your highlight you get your bronzer blush of course 
I mean, I, I think, you know what, honestly, you can use it on anything. So I found it very interesting. I don't know how to swatch them, so I'm not going to touch them at all. Maybe I might try it as a blusher. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. Those are the things that I've picked up from Max. Um, new collection, Mirage Noir. Um, anything that I would suggest you guys, you know, honestly, I think you guys should pick the body, the face and body foundation. Try it out. I know summer is up near and you know what? Everybody wants to glow. So I think if anything you guys want to pick up and I think you guys should also check out the collection just to see what catches your eyes. Of course, I like I said, I love the packaging of it. It's very pretty. Um, so you know what? Let's get in the tutorial now. So I'm going to go, my first shade will be uh, Burnt Orange, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to use MAX 224 Blending Brush. So I'm just going to, this is going to be my transition shade. So let's just do this. For my crease color, I'm going to go with, um, let's see which one I want to pick next. I'm going to go with a deeper shade. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'll go with red ochre from the same palette. Maybe I'll just go with this for my crease. Just a little bit, not a lot of, lot amount because I'm just trying to keep it plain for this review, for this tutorial. So here we are doing this. Now I'm just going to go with the star of the show, Sunspect. Sunspect, yeah, that's what it's called, Sunspect. I'm going to go with Max 239 brush for this. This is going to be my lit color. I'm just going to do my lashes off camera and I will be right back and we'll do the rest of the face together. Moving on to my bronzer, I'm going to use Delpic. So here it is. And I'm going to use Max 168 brush for this. I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush. It is a extra dimension, so let's see how it applies. I'm going to start right here. Applies pretty good so I guess this is great. So moving on to my highlighter I'm going to use the Dior's Nude Air Illuminator which looks like this. And the brush I'm going to use today is going to be um, Anastasia's A23. So I'm just going to swirl this around and just apply on my face. Now for my blush, I'm just going to try the Mother O Pearls, these two shades. I'm not going to swirl to them, them together, but I'm just going to use these two just to see what it looks like. Okay, applied pretty nice actually. Um, looks pretty good. I'll try a little bit of this. This right here. Let me just see this how it looks like. Just a little bit. Okay. 
like it sits really nice on the cheeks without any fallout um now i'm just going to spray some fix plus because i feel my skin is a little bit dried i'm just going to spray this and then we'll move on to the lips after this okay so just spray this Moving on to my lips, I'm just going to use NYX um, lip pencil. Now I'm gonna apply twig lipstick. My overall thought on this collection is positive because whatever I've bought, everything applied so smoothly. So um, I enjoyed using each and every product from here. Mirage Noir, hopefully I am pronouncing it right. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and a little review from me. Um, thank you again. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Till then, peace out.